Hello, today I'm down by Bunkru House. It's a lovely hotel and you can get a great coffee in there. Um, I'm just parked further up and if you carry on down that road it takes you to Bunkru House and I can highly recommend it for a visit. It's really lovely inside. I stayed there once before and they do a great craft of coffee as well. So I'm just going to take a wee walk down to the beach. It's a beautiful still day and the water is absolutely calm, so calm and it it's like mirror like. So you can see the reflections on the water from the mountains. And it's very still. And the mist has cleared quite a bit because yesterday it was so misty over at South Keswick. It was really, really, really misty. You couldn't see the the mountains in the distance at all. And you couldn't see the, the Keswick Bridge either. And you can see it quite clearly there and over to that side you can see it quite clear although there's quite a bit of my mist excuse me there's quite a bit of mist out that way but it's a very still day and but it's not too cold or I'm not feeling it cold today so I thought I would come down a wee bit further, nearer to the actual Bunkru house. I normally just pull in not far past the Clacknahari. So I'm going to have a wee wander, maybe collect, look at that scenery. I'm going to collect a couple of shells, bits and pieces, and just enjoy the piece. You get a lot of shells like this down here and some nice shapes. This is quite an unusual shape but I see a lot of these on this beach here and the angel picture that I made that I put on a short video last night it's made from these shells. I'm not sure what those ones are called, I'll need to check it out. There's another one of those shells that I was talking about. This one's a nicer shape. And there's a nice little bit of blue. Just noticed. It's quite frosted. Quite smooth. Nice colour. So that's good. I'll take it. Tiny little piece of pottery. And a not so frosted, quite large piece of pale aqua glass. So I'll just leave that on the beach. Sometimes I'll, what I'll do with that kind of glass is just bury it a bit and just put some stones and things over it because it's such a shame when you hear about dogs hurting their paws on beaches so I try and bury the glass I can't I don't want to be lifting sharp glass all the time because um, I actually just cut my finger on a knife last night when I was doing the dishes so yeah you've got to be careful it's another wee piece of pottery the design's slightly damaged on it, so that's, that's a pity. Quite unusual design, I've not seen that before. Another piece of pottery there. It's 
have a look. Looks like it's come from a vase. It's a quite a large piece. And quite quite old looking. Quite a nice design. I think I've maybe found a piece off this at this same beach. I'll need to have a look at some point when I'm going through my pottery. That's a a nice large piece, not sure what I would do with it because of its size but I think I will take it just because it's such a lovely design. Just spotted that, so nice we find there. Do look what I find huge bit of blue. It's maybe not the most frosted piece, but to find a bit of blue that size that's smooth is absolutely brilliant. So Really pleased with that. Great stuff. That is what you call a Christmas tree. Imagine having that in your front room. Well, I've had a lovely peaceful walk on this beach at Bunkru, but I think it's time to say goodbye. So I'll let you have one last look at these lovely surroundings before I head home as it's just starting to become dusk and it's getting a bit dark and getting a bit colder but I've had a lovely time, this is a lovely spot and it's so, so therapeutic just to chill out with nature I love it So this is the car park at Bunkru. I was just going home and I thought I would just drive along to the end and then the castle looked, well the house looked so nice that I thought well let's take um, some photos, a short video of the, the grounds and the Christmas tree. It's just lovely. So and you can see it's getting, it's getting dark but the light's quite nice. It's, it's almost, it's more lilac um, for me, but it's not shown as lilac, but the sky actually looks lilac. And look how tall those trees are. Absolutely huge. Really nice. It's a lovely place. Lovely and peaceful. And it's just off the road as you're heading out to Bewley from Inverness, heading out to Bewley. It's a lovely wee place. And you can hear the birds twittering and tweeting away there. And see the light, it's kind of pinky lilac. It's gorgeous. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned to see what I found.